I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Saturday, January 7th, our scripture is from the 10th chapter of Acts, verses 34 to 43. Then Peter began to speak to them, I truly understand that God shows no partiality. But in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Not partial. Peter said, I truly understand that God shows no partiality. Verse 34. God is surely alone in the ability to show no partiality. In the U.S. where I live, social and political views have become deeply, deeply entrenched and partial. We are more disagree disagreeable in our disagreement. We mistrust and are even mean-spirited to people who vote, think, or live differently. But our impartial God calls us with Peter to rethink how we treat those who differ from us. Peter, who was Jewish, was entrenched in thinking Gentiles were unclean until God commanded him in a vision to rethink his partiality. Now at the home of Cornelius, a Roman army officer and a Gentile, Peter teaches that Jesus' forgiveness is poured out upon everyone who believes in him. In the following verses, the Holy Spirit rests on the Gentiles gathered there. And Peter, putting his newly inclusive understanding of God into practice, baptizes them. We too are called to set aside practices that favor some people over others and to live out the radical impartiality and all including love of God. Our prayer. Give us courage, God, to listen before we speak especially to those who differ from us. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.